Hey there, fellow aficionados of classic cinema. Have you ever strolled down memory lane to the year 1961 and indulged in the timeless charm of breakfast at Tiffany's? Ah, those were the days, weren't they? The era of elegance and sophistication where Audrey Hepburn's iconic portrayal of Holly Golightly stole hearts and the very mention of Tiffany's sparked a sense of intrigue and allure. I'm curious, have you watched the cinematic gem from yesteryear? If you have, I'm eager to hear your cherished recollections. What were your favorite moments that made you smile, laugh, or perhaps shed a tear? Did you find yourself irresistibly drawn to the enigmatic characters, or did the enchanting New York City backdrop leave you yearning for your own adventure in the big city? Share your experiences, and let's reminisce together. Now, let's set the stage for some fascinating tidbits about this cinematic masterpiece, shall we? It's time to delve into the world of breakfast at Tiffany's and uncover some random facts that will make you appreciate this classic even more. So, buckle up, my fellow movie enthusiasts, as we embark on this delightful journey through the glitz and glamour of a bygone era, all wrapped up with the bow of curiosity and wonder. Breakfast at Tiffany's, a 1961 film directed by Blake Edwards, is a timeless classic that originated from Truman Capote's novella of the same name. The story revolves around Holly Golightly, portrayed by Audrey Hepburn in an iconic role, a charming and enigmatic New York socialite who has an unconventional approach to life. Her quest for a wealthy suitor clashes with her budding friendship with a struggling writer, Paul Varjak, played by George Peppert. The film's unique style is defined by Hepburn's glamorous portrayal and the memorable scene of her in a black Givenchy dress, standing outside Tiffany and Co. The movie also features a captivating score by Henry Mancini, including the renowned song Moon River. Breakfast at Tiffany's had a significant impact on popular culture, influencing fashion, and inspiring countless interpretations in film and television. Its portrayal of the pursuit of dreams and the complexity of human connections continues to resonate with audiences, making it a classic that endures through the decades. In the making of the 1961 movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, one memorable scene stands out. The party scene, filmed on a Paramount soundstage, was an extensive six-day endeavor. Director Blake Edwards enlisted his friends as extras to play the guests. The scene called for real champagne, 120 gallons of soft drinks, 60 cartons of cigarettes, hot dogs, cold cuts, chips, dips, and sandwiches. To create the desired atmosphere, a beekeeper's smoker was brought in, billowing enough smoke to set the mood for Holly Golightly's lively party. Alan Reed, famous as the voice of Fred Flintstone, lent his voice to the character Sally Tomato in the film. Additionally, Mel Blanc, the voice of Barney Rubble, had a role as Holly's drunk visitor. It's interesting to see these iconic animated voices in a live-action setting. Another intriguing tidbit is that both Shirley MacLaine and Kim Novick turned down the opportunity to play Holly Golightly, the iconic role eventually portrayed by Audrey Hepburn. Their decisions shaped the casting and, ultimately, the film's legacy. Breakfast at Tiffany's remains a classic, with these behind-the-scenes details and casting choices adding depth to its rich history in cinema. In the 1961 movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, there's an interesting detail that often goes unnoticed. Holly's couch, where Audrey Hepburn's character spends many moments, is actually an old-fashioned bathtub split in half. In some scenes, you can still see the gold handles at one end and the legs on the bottom. This quirky choice of furniture adds a unique touch to the film's iconic apartment setting. Audrey Hepburn, who played Holly Golightly in the movie, gave birth to her first son, Sean Hepburn Fur, only three months before shooting began. Her commitment to the role while juggling new motherhood is a testament to her professionalism and talent. In a 2006 short documentary titled Breakfast at Tiffany's, The Making of a Classic, director Blake Edwards expressed regret for a casting decision made during the film's production. Mickey Rooney, an actor of European heritage, was cast in the role of a Japanese person. Edwards admitted that at the time, they didn't consider the implications of this choice. He said, looking back, I wish I had never done it, and I would give anything to be able to recast it. This acknowledgement reflects changing sensibilities about cultural representation in the film industry. These aspects offer a deeper insight into the making of Breakfast at Tiffany's, showcasing both creative choices and historical context. 
The film remains a classic, but it's important to consider the evolving standards of diversity and representation in modern cinema. In the 1961 movie Breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn replaced Marilyn Monroe in the role of Holly Golightly. Truman Capote, the author, had initially envisioned Monroe for the part. However, Monroe's drama coach, Lee Strasberg, advised against it, as he believed playing a call girl would harm her image. Despite this change, the film became a massive success, and Audrey Hepburn earned Golden Globe and Academy Award nominations for Best Actress. As for the iconic opening scene, Audrey Hepburn disliked Danish pastries. This made filming that scene, where she nibbles on a pastry while peering into the Tiffany's window, a bit of a challenge for her. Interestingly, when Capote sold the rights to his novella to producers Richard Shepard and Martin Juro, he expressed a desire to play the character Paul himself. The producers skillfully managed to avoid this suggestion. These behind-the-scenes insights add layers to the enduring charm of Breakfast at Tiffany's, a film that continues to captivate audiences with its timeless elegance and captivating performances. Breakfast at Tiffany's, the iconic 1961 film, is not just a classic, but it also hides some interesting trivia. Audrey Hepburn and George Peppard, who played the lead roles, had a significant friendship despite their differing acting styles. George Peppard was a student of method acting, while Audrey Hepburn found it challenging to work with this approach. However, their bond remained strong until Audrey's passing on January 20, 1993. Tragically, George Peppard passed away barely a year and a half later, on May 8, 1994. One of the movie's standout features is the unforgettable song Moon River. This timeless tune earned a well-deserved spot among the American Film Institute's top 100 greatest songs. It secured the fourth position, following classics like Over the Rainbow, As Time Goes By, and Singin' in the Rain. In another intriguing tidbit, the production crew faced quite a challenge during the film's creation. For a scene where Paul and Holly tried to have a Cracker Jack ring engraved at Tiffany's, they went through an astonishing 200 boxes of Cracker Jacks before finding a suitable ring. The popular toy at the time was a whistle, making this quest an unexpected adventure. These fascinating insights into breakfast at Tiffany's reveal the intriguing behind-the-scenes stories of this beloved classic, making it even more remarkable. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the timeless 1961 classic, Breakfast at Tiffany's, we're left with a trove of emotions and memories to cherish. This iconic film, adapted from Truman Capote's novella, has a unique way of weaving itself into the very fabric of our lives. It beckons us to explore the enigmatic world of Holly Golightly, a character who has become a symbol of elegance, quirkiness, and the pursuit of an elusive dream. Breakfast at Tiffany's isn't just a movie, it's an invitation to ponder the complexities of human connection and the quest for identity. It's about the pursuit of happiness, love, and belonging in a bustling city, much like the backdrop of New York itself. The film transcends its era, remaining eternally relevant, and Audrey Hepburn's portrayal of Holly continues to inspire generations with her captivating grace. Now, I invite you to reflect on your personal connection with Breakfast at Tiffany's. What is it about this film that resonates with you? Have you ever found yourself yearning for something intangible, just like Holly's quest for her elusive cat? Or perhaps you've been captivated by the idea of reinventing yourself, as Holly did in her glamorous New York existence. Share your favorite memories, the scenes that have etched themselves into your heart, or the lessons you've drawn from this cinematic gem. Your unique perspective adds another layer of depth to the tapestry of stories surrounding breakfast at Tiffany's. Let your thoughts flow, and let's celebrate this movie that has sparked countless conversations and imaginations. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this cinematic adventure with us. Your thoughts and memories make this journey even more splendid. Until our next rendezvous with the magic of film, keep exploring, dreaming, and reflecting. It's been a pleasure sharing this moment with you.